What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Juggle 972 back here. Now, as you saw in the beginning, um, 10 minutes of the, uh, well, I'm going to say 10 minutes, about 5 minutes of uh, the, uh, of the uh, footage that I had recorded uh, didn't end up very getting, uh, just didn't go so well, but I ended up actually saving after the boss fight with the lava spawn, so that's unsalvageable at this point. So, I'm just going to go ahead and continue on for right now. You didn't really miss much. It was literally like a 3 minute fight, too, so anyway, let's just keep going forward, shall we? Let's see. Okay. Thought it was there for a second. Let's see what we got here. I know what you have seen. It is your futures that slumber in this hall. Destiny it's in its, in its essential form. All of the dreams that, made, that might have been. All of the happiness and sorrow you might have known. Your tomorrow as it has been witnessed. Quite poetic. The black omen transcends time and space, drifted through all and nothing, waiting for lavas to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall remain. Unless you can defeat me and bring down the omen, there is no future for you. Must be worried you having Magus go up against his own mother this way. Come, children, lava slumbers. I will guide you to the depths of his dream. Did I say dream? I meant, of course, his eternal nightmare. Q villainous laugh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mind you, Specchio learns that a little bit later on, too, whenever you reach level 99. Okay. Make sure everybody's perfectly healed up. She's gonna lower you down anyway, too. So, just start hitting her hard. So, it appears that the rest of America is opening up at 75%. And okay, here she goes again with that. Not very powerful. But if you got good defenses, though, you know, just keep yourself, you know, well healed. That's all I can really say. Because uh, once she does that, though, she's going to uh, bring you down and use Halitation again. Here it comes. So, two Lapises. I think it's what they call it. Lapises. And, of course, Proto with that rainbow and that uh, Rage Man. Dark Matter again. Because really, when you fight a Zeo like this, you really don't need her to be. You really don't need to be at full power. Because really, she's not fighting, fighting you at full power. Halation. I think it's a proper pronunciation. It's called halation. And of course, she can't do that twice. Heal and dark matter. Might as well hit it up a little bit more. Looks like this bit is a little lost. Yeah. There we go. Now we can go to the fight with the man machine. You'll be made one with the omen. Lavos and me. I'm going to throw you into the to the mammon machine. And this fight is easy. Too easy actually. Energy. The best part is that when you've got the Masa Moon, you can actually absorb the energy later on in this fight, too. Magus, sacrifice magic. And that life advice has brought us chip has brought chips away to the party. Oh go. Okay. Okay, now I need a little bit more of this, a little bit of that. So it's going to remain still there for just a little bit. There it goes with the point flare. And at this point, though, the man machine really is, is, just, man, is just damaged by magic anyway. The best part is though, this fight you can literally recover yourself and not worry about being having to be killed. So yeah, this fight, this fight's just another throwaway at this point. The first fight with the zeal, it's more of like a way of seeing how how uh, good you are. This one, pretty much just an easy day off. If you will. And at this point, I think we're just gonna use a mega elixir. So let's 
so I might as well get the lightning rod. Here we go. Magic sacrifice to increase attack. Ah, now we're gonna blow up. Because I believe on the Super Nintendo and the uh, Nintendo DS, it doesn't matter, you know, what the uh, what points that you have it at, though, you can always uh, absorb it. Alright, so let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That was nothing. See, I told you, it's pretty much, pretty much a throwaway. Gives you just enough time to fight and recover, too. Because the real fight begins after this. And after the, and after the next fight. Alrighty, what do you got? Oh, that was glitchy. You can see the sixteen bit on all that. There she is. You maggots. I am the queen who shall rule for all eternity at Lavos' side. You will not stand in my way. Fool. You, no thing, no life can last forever. You were deceived, a pitiful plight. One deserving of mercy, at least. I will put an end to all of this. A cursed prophet. Do not think I have forgotten your transgression at the Ocean Palace. You shall now pay with your life! Alrighty. Playtime's over with Queen Zeal. And I believe she has about 20,000 HP in this fight. Both of those hands, what they do, I think the, because the, her left hand, if you will. No, why'd you have to do that? Girl, you dope. Okay. I believe the uh, left hand uh, uses uh, Magic Seal. Basically robs you of all your MP, and then the one on the right though actually uses Life Shaver. So one for magic, one for HP damage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! So whatever you do, do not hit the hands. And avoid all... Oh, there you go. Back to Lightning Rod again. Let's see. No, I think we're good with the uh, with defenses and all that. I love the fact that you have Max as a theme song in this for this fight too. That's a weird attack too. Ah. Yeah, Magus is nowhere near as strong as he needs to be. I actually you know what he is. Remain healthy. Remain healthy. And remain healthy too. Alright, what do you guys? Yeah. Ask me though, even if you don't have Magus, even if you don't have Magus, you actually get the uh, the second boss battle, the uh, more the decisive battle, if you will. I think this one's actually a little bit more appropriate. Let's see. There we go. And steals all of our magic. Damn it! Ah, oh, Zeal, you fucking bitch. Yeah, she plays dirty. So she robbed us of everything, didn't she? Okay, let's see. Dark bomb. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Make him, make him say like a beer tastes like. <laughs> Alrighty. That's a lightning rod. Ah, Frodo, don't do that. Don't do that. 
You don't want to do that though, but you don't want to live shape all the way down to one at this point. Getting desperate. Oh yeah, she's getting desperate. Let's see. Got a lapis. Alrighty. She's getting pretty desperate. I think uh, at the last 5,000 HP that she has, she starts using her hands a lot more. If I remember correctly. Yep. Put her in a frenzy. Then there's that. Oh, I love it. Except for when I hated it. A little over a thousand damage that one. Heart bomb. What do you got, Zill? What do you got? You ain't got nothing left. Here's a quarter because you played yourself. Booyah! You have been oofed. How dare you, vermin, hound my steps! Oh, oh my dear Lavos, lend me your power! It's weird. She's the only character that actually has a relationship with Lavos. She's actually powerful enough to, I wouldn't say command him, but at the same time call upon him. Funny how Magus can summon him too. Then again, that is his mother. Poor Shala, though. I love how in, in the uh, DS version as well, especially this one, they actually expand upon uh, Shala actually, you know, being a part of Lavos as well. It, from across, you know, spoilers there. At last, Lavos stirs. Before him, you are at the grist before the wheel. But I, I shall attain immortality! <laughs> what are they, good? <laughs> and the black woman dissipates. Mm -hmm. And here comes Lavos. Just many millennia before he gets summoned in 1999. Woo! Lavos enters attack mode. And that'll do it for this episode, because in the next episode, we run the gauntlet. So much love, peace, and let's get geared up. Bye-bye.